Hello and welcome. Today we are going to be talking about two powerful features in Figma and that is auto layout and components. And we're going to be starting with auto layout first. So what exactly is auto layout? Well, this is a feature that allows us to create some sort of responsive and dynamic design. With auto layout, you can actually define the way elements inside a frame should resize and reflow based on their content, right? Like we have based on their content just like we have in the real world but before we dive in let me show you an example of how we used to design before figma's auto frame and i will do that with an ex with a button example okay now let's go into figma now as usual on our explore page this is basically how uh you would design a button before figma and that is by drawing a rectangle you have to draw a rectangle first and once you draw a rectangle you decide to maybe come here and color it then once you are done with the coloring, you can now come here, pick your text tool and type in button. Okay. Um, for this, let's make the height 40. Let's make the height 40 and let's go ahead and make that with 100. And I'm just going to zoom in. Now, this is how you make a button and maybe select the both of them. Right. Align them properly and group. Or you can decide to add maybe a corner radius of four and then you select both of them and group okay so this is how you probably design a button but the problem with this is it is not responsive so if i should duplicate this and decide to increase this to maybe i want to type in more things right maybe i have like button group you can see that this background is not responsive that means anytime i adjust this i have to manually come and increase this and realign them right now this is the problem auto layout solved okay so it helps us design things that can be responsive and can also resize so to explain this i'm just going to create uh, some shapes here so let's have this shape let's have this okay uh, i'm going to just give it a color i'm just giving it a random color okay i'm just giving a random color here Control d right i just want you to understand what i'm doing and then we have control d again let me control d again that's duplicating okay and let me just go ahead and give it this one and let me duplicate again okay let me go ahead and give it this color now let's have have everything here if i want to put these things inside an auto frame all i need to do is to select all of them remember click or drag and then right click and select add auto frame you can either do this or you can click on shift a so once i click on add auto frame right now they are now in an auto frame okay now if you take a look at the layer panel you see that the icon for auto frame is different than the icon for normal frames you can see the icon for normal frame like the hashtag right now you can see the icon for auto frame so basically automatic frame right so once you have this in auto frame there are a lot of things you can do because right now you can see this auto frame property right here so let me go ahead and let's talk about spacing you can decide to control the spacing between these elements now if i come here to control the spacing all I need to do is to come here and where you have horizontal gap between items, I can select and I can do something like 50, right? You can see, I can do something like 2 and you can see they are very packed now. I can do something like maybe 24 and there you go, you have it, right? Now if you also take a look at the top and bottom, we don't have spaces. Also on the left and right, we don't have spaces. Now to add this space between you know space within the contents like we talked about yesterday is called padding to do that all i need to do is to come to here i have the horizontal padding and vertical padding right the horizontal padding is the left and right padding what i can do is to come here and i can say okay maybe i want 32 right there okay and we're not seeing it uh let me just go ahead and give it a color so come back to fill and click on the plus sign now we can actually see what we're doing now you can see we've added 32 pixel spacing here and then we can also come to the top and bottom that's the vertical pattern uh, vertical padding and type in 32 right there you can see now we have a breathing space around this element okay you can actually go ahead and also make that eight right there so you have this here so right now i've actually shown you how to create an auto frame how to putting spaces between those auto frame and also how to add your padding to your auto frame okay now 
this auto frame the advantage here is that right here on my auto frame panel you can see i can now change the direction if i click on vertical you can see i've automatically changed the direction of this auto frame now if i were to do this without auto frame that means i have to come and re rearrange these things manually but with auto frame i can easily you know choose the directions easily and watch what happens again if i try to resize this you can see what's going on here it's not actually flowing this is what we mean by we flow now so in order to make this to flow i can use this last particular one that says wrap so once i wrap this now see what happens once i begin to go like this you can see you can see it begins to reflow okay so let's have this these properties here I, I i'm sure you understand it by now so we can use this to change the direction change the direction and also set the reflow property or wrap property right and here we can actually change the padding the left and right padding okay so that's basically this uh, what we have on this uh, auto layout property right and the next thing i probably want to explain right now is here where we have the constraint okay so and then the next thing we have here is the resizing okay if you notice right now it has moved to fixed while the height is on what hog so what exactly is fixed and what exactly is hog okay now fixed basically means you have a fixed width you impute the width yourself right so if i should come here and change this to 500 now this is a fixed width you can see it's fixed right there but if i want this to be the exact size of the if i want it to fit or hug the content all i need to do is to come back here instead of fixed and i will now change it to hug content so you can see right now it is hugging the content right but immediately you adjust this manually it goes back to fixed so you should be aware of that in a later class we will also talk more about this resizing properties for auto layout okay now let me, i want to go ahead and duplicate this okay duplicate it let me have two here so the next thing i want to explain here is resizing right resizing so how does resizing work in uh, with auto layout so let me go ahead and reduce this uh let me go ahead let me do this let me just remove the left and right pattern let me put it back to zero and i also want to put this one to zero so right now you can see we don't have spacing within uh, the container itself now let's take a look at how resizing works if you look up here you can see right here under horizontal resizing we have hog and under vertical resizing we have hog this simply means that you want that container to hog the content that means whatever the, the, the size of the content inside the container should determine the width and height that's basically what hog means hog means the size of the content inside the container should determine the width and height okay now aside that you can actually give them manual width and manual height right so if i want to give this manual width all i need to do is to come here and i can adjust the width and you can see immediately i dragged this width manually it switched to fixed but the height is still on hog right now if i also drag it this way you can see it has also changed to fixed so this is basically how you fixed uh, how you add manual height and width to your auto frame you can use this fixed settings right here you can actually come in here and say okay we want this to be 500 by maybe let's say 400 okay let's increase that to 600 sorry 600 so you can see we have we can actually put a fixed uh, amount of width and height to our auto frame and here for the alignment you can see right now we're at the center we can actually move this to the top or move this to the bottom or you know left right and center so basically that's the alignment for you right there okay now another thing we can actually do if you want it to hug it back all you need to do is to come back here and select hug content and also select hog content and then we have it back that way okay now the last thing i want to talk about is how 
element inside auto layout react okay so right now you can see we have we have the parents okay set to hog and hog okay so if you open it up you can see we have these four rectangles right inside it now how do they react if i select this rectangle you see that this rectangle right now is set to fixed both the width and the height and that is why no matter how much i drag this the size remains the same because the size is set to fixed okay now if i should select this particular one and instead of fixed on the width and i click on it and say fill container now what happens is this if i increase this you see the size is also going to increase you can see that particular one with the property fill container okay so this is something you need to know so we actually choose how the child right that's the content inside the auto frame react when you resize the auto frame okay so you have to you see that you can set you set it to fixed or you set it to fill container remember fix will maintain its size you can see these other ones that have the fixed properties okay they have the fixed properties no matter how much i resize this they don't increase in size but you see this particular one that i selected fill once i resize no matter how once i resize it's also going to grow with that container okay so this is very important for you to know so that's all you need to know about auto layout right now in another class we'll take a look at another property which is maximum width and maximum height and take a look at how to use them see you in the next class